Hi guys, I'm Luca and I'm doing the unboxing of the new RGB Link Mini MX. It's the new camera in the family of RGB Link Mini. This is the box. You can see the fancy stream of colors on the top side with a picture of the product. On the back side, we have a diagram of the connection the product with all the inputs and the outputs, but we will see the details later. Now I'm going to open the box to remove the black film. So can I remove the external cover? find the box with again the picture of the product and then on the back side the bottom side there is some description of the main function of the hardware interface so let's open the box video processing for any scale which is the Azure Link motto since a while. Now, beautiful. In the plastic bag, we have the mini MX itself. And here there is another box inside with the some accessories. Yes. Yes, we have the power supply. Here we have a USB Type-C, Type-C cable which can be used as a UDC output. We will see this in details later. As well, we have an adapter from USB-C to USB-A which we use to connect the, the pen drive or SSD for a copy. Mi NX is the latest product from the Mini series, which we have already seen before, like Mini Pro and Mini. But the Mini NX, which we, call, we can call actually NX, can be intended like a mini mix or mini max as you, as you wish because it's bigger from compared to the previous mini series. In fact, it adds some uh, unseen feature so far. We have uh, some professional, uh, more implemented audio controlling. We have a 5.5 inch monitor and touch screen which can be used to review the multi-view and uh, review of the sources as well with the touch screen we have access, quick access to all the fun of the menu and especially with the mini MX we can stream directly on internet on platforms like YouTube, Facebook, uh, Twitch and so on without the use of the computer. So compared to the Mini MX which was only UVC out here, we have uh, really streaming from the device to the network as it shows the effect in the, in the box. You can see Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, BDB, and other platforms directly from the device live. So we can see the interface, the connection. Here we have the power switch. The power plug is a USB Type C. It needs 12 volt and 3 ampere power. So there is the, the, the power adapter here, 
But as well, we can use a power bank as long as we uh, can be able to give uh, the power on these features. We have four HDMI 2.0 inputs, so uh, four 4K okay, inputs actually. We have two HDMI outputs, one to use for review and one for the program. And the uh, Ethernet IP port, which can be used, as we said, to stream directly on the Ethernet or to control the device by the software or computer, which is a uh, web page based software. But we will see this details in the further video. Here, there is another output UVC, UV, uh, USB UVC. So it can be used as a virtual camera or to connect it to the computer or whatever other function needs a USB. As well, another USB port which is to record the program. That's why Azubeli provides the adapter from USB. C to USB-A just in case the SSD and uh, USB-A. Here on this side we have the audio connector. This is a big implement compared to the previous version. So we have two XLR balanced audio input and the phantom power switch so we can connect the microphones Sensor which need the uh, uh, power supply, and we have a line input so we can connect an external mixer or whatever external source in line, and two audio outputs one for monitoring or earphones, mini jack, and the main line output which can connect to the for example, a PA system or amplifier. On the bottom, we have the hole for the, the triple mounting, so it can, it can be supported by triple. Here yeah, we notice on the top face, on the top side, there is this groove which can host a portable monitor or a tablet to control the, this or other device by app or as well a portable monitor to have a bigger review even if it's built on board and be the 5.5 inch monitor when we switch on we will see all the function of the touch the monitor here we notice there are four knobs which are the control of the embedded audio into embedded audio of the four HDMI inputs. As well, there is a toggle which is for the zoom of the camera. In fact, Mini MX has the same, as the, as the, as the same function of the former Mini Pro. It's not only a switcher mixer, but this is a PVC camera control. So here we have a joystick and toggle to control in fact the PVC camera. Here we have some buttons, so the menu to quick access to the several function of the mini MX and on air. When we push on air, we will activate the streaming output UVC and uh, Here we have uh, six uh, faders which are for the audio control. So the two microphone inputs, the line inputs, and also very important the Bluetooth input. You can connect your phone or any other external source by Bluetooth. And here the fader that control the output, the monitor and the main output. 
this is to mix the video source as well as it was in the former members of the family meeting. And there are several buttons. Each audio has a mute or on button. Both the inputs and the outputs. Here there are eight buttons for quick access to some uh, function or to record the preset. Uh, we will see this in the details, uh, all the functions we will see in the next videos. As well, here are the buttons to access to different functions. And here we have some other function quick access like uh, full screen, open the picture in picture, open the layer, the background or the top layer because this is two mixer, two layer scalable mixer. So this is the product, I think is quite uh, friendly using already, even without switch on I can already make it how to operate and there's an uh, audio and video streaming ready switcher for only. So stay tuned and we will show in the next video all the function of the RGB.